good morning my dear students i am mohammad bahaddin working as an assistant professor in is engineering college which is affiliated to usmania university hyderabad so today in this session we are going to discuss regarding the next problem on the elemental stiffness matrix for the triangular element so in this problem we need to evaluate the elemental stiffness matrix for the triangular element as shown in a figure under the plane strain condition assume we need to assume the sum value like the modulus of elasticity is given here 200 gigapascal and the coefficient of friction mu is given here 0.25 and the thickness is given as 1 mm so let if you observe this figure we have the two coordinate x coordinate as well as we have the y co y coordinate this triangle element is resting on this on the coordinate is we can say that we have the three node at a triangle element this is the first node second node and third node the face first and second is resting on the horizontal axis is it right so here here the coordinate this is the first coordinate or we can say that it is the first node second node and this is the third node so here the x1 value is given here 0 y1 is y1 is also 0 x2 is 6 and y2 also 0 x3 is 3 and y3 is 5 clear here the modulus of elasticity value is given here 200 gpa so 200 giga nothing but 10 power of nanometer per meter square our if your intention is that if you want to convert in meter per mm square then the value should be 2 into 10 power of 5 meter per mm square so 1 meter square 1 meter is equal to 10 power of 3 mm is it right or we can say that 1 meter equal to 1000 mm So 10 plus 3 should be how much? 3 to the 6. So if you are subtract this value 11 minus of 6, then you will get the answer is 5 only. So this means that 2 here. So what I am doing over here, this 2 is as it is. If remove the two digit, it make the power is 10 power of 2. Is it right? 9 plus 2. If the base is the same, the power should be added. 9 plus 2 it become how much? 11. Okay, dear. Then. Again, this 10 power of 6 and this 10 power of 11 cancel. The remaining should be how much? 10 power of 5 divided by m square. Because you know very well, because already you did the practice how to convert this value. Is it right? And the thickness is how much is given over here? 1 mm is given, and the coefficient of friction mu is given as 0.25. So what I'm doing over here? We are taking these linear triangular element. We are taking for or the stiffness matrix. So here, this K is indicate that stiffness matrix, and the B transpose is the strain displacement matrix, and the D is represent the stress stress relationship, and the B nothing but strain displacement matrix, A nothing but the area of triangular element, T nothing but thickness of a triangular element. Clear? Let us see. So in this case, what we need to find out. So our intention is there. We need to find find out the value of a only. So a is equal to one by two, one x one y one, one x two y two, one x three y three. So you know the concept how to write this one. Clear? The one by two as it is x one value. How much is given over here? X one is given zero. Y one is given as zero. Zero comma zero. X two is given as six, and y two is given as Zero, six comma zero, and x three is how much? Three comma five, three comma five. After that, you know the procedure how to write. This is a plus one, minus plus. If you are if you are taking the first value, then you need to eliminate this first row as well as this first column. One, six five is a thirty. Three comma zero, it become as zero. This is minus zero. One into five, five. One into zero, it become as zero. This is a plus zero. One into three, three. One into six, minus six. So if you are a subtract this value, then you will get the answer is thirty by two. 
30 by this 2 30 by 2 nothing but 15 so the whole the value is given in mm so we can say as millimeter square so it is considered as equation number 2 so after the getting the value of a we need to find out the value of b as well as we need to find out the value of b transpose as well as we need to find out the value of d first what i'm doing here first already i find out the value of area of the triangle element again we need to find out the value of strain displacement matrix we need to find out in this problem so the strain displacement matrix we have the formula beta equal to 1 by 2a beta 1 0 beta 2 0 beta 3 0 0 gamma 1 0 gamma 2 0 gamma 3 how to write gamma 1 beta 1 cross multiply over here gamma 1 beta 1 gamma 2 beta 2 gamma 3 beta 3 clear after that you need to write down this value of b1 nothing but y2 minus y3 how to write you know very well so in this case what we need to eliminate we need to eliminate the value of 1 so then remaining is y2 minus y3 clear like this from here y2 minus if you eliminate this first one value nothing but y2 minus y3 y2 minus y3 equal to y2 nothing but how much is there 0 minus y3 nothing but how much is there minus 5 0 minus 5 it becomes minus 5 b2 is y3 minus y1 so in this case we need to eliminate this second the remaining is y3 and y1 5 minus 0 equal to 5 if you are talking about b3 so in which you need to eliminate third remaining is first and second y1 minus y2 3 minus 6 equal to minus 3 after that we need to find out the value of sigma gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 we need to find out gamma 1 is equal to x3 minus x2 x3 is how much is there 3 minus of 6 is equal to minus 3 gamma 2 nothing but x1 minus x3 is equal to 0 minus 3 equal to minus 3 gamma 3 nothing but so in this case you need to eliminate the first row first sorry third row remaining is second and first clear 6 minus 0 equal to 6 so in this procedure you know very well gamma 1 nothing but in which we need to eliminate first x1 value you need to eliminate the remaining is x3 and x2 in the gamma 2 in which you need to eliminate second one the remaining is x1 and x3 in the third case gamma 3 in which you need to eliminate third one remaining is x2 and x1 that's it after that you need to substitute in the above matrix so above matrix in the sense in the strain displacement matrix in which you need to substitute over here 1 by 2a 2a nothing but 30 so this is the value of b1 b1 value how much you got here minus 5 minus 5 0 b2 value is 5 0 b3 values also okay here so small mistake or small mistake is over here minus 3 is that here okay then again gamma 1 value is how much is there 0 gamma 1 value is minus 3 0 gamma 2 value nothing but how much minus 3 gamma 3 how much is there 6 gamma 3 is how much is that here this gamma 1 into this beta 1 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 6 again 0 then it is considered as equation number 3 b transpose means this row convert into column this row convert into column this second row into this second column this third row into third column clear after that it is considered as equation number 4 after the getting this value b and b transpose we need to find out the relation between the stress and strain if you want to find out the relation between the stress and strain we have the formula is the modulus of elasticity by 1 plus Poisson's ratio 1 minus 2 into Poisson's ratio 1 minus Poisson's ratio Poisson's ratio 0 Poisson's ratio 1 minus Poisson's ratio 0 0 0 1 minus 2 Poisson's ratio by 2 here the modulus of elasticity of the materials is given here 2 into 10 power 5 1 plus mu is given as 0 0.25 1 minus 2 into mu nothing but 0 0.5 clear 2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.25 then you will get 0 0.5 only 1 minus 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0 0 0.25 1 minus 0 0.25 0 0 0 1 minus 2 into 0 0.0 0 0.25 by 2 then 2 into 10 power 5 by 1.25 Again, this should be 0 0.5. If you subtract 0 0.75, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.25. 
again what I'm doing over here we are taking the value here constant is 0 0.25 we are taking over here 0 0.75 by 0 0.25 then you will get the answer is 3 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 you will get the value of 1 0 as it is 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 then you will get the value of 1 0 0.75 by 0 0.25 then you will get the answer is 3 0 by 0 0.25 it become as 0 0 0 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 then you will get the answer is 1 then if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 8 into the power of 3 3 1 0 1 3 0 0 0 1 so this consider as equation number 5 after the getting the value of equation number 5 so we have to go for stiffness matrix is obtained k is equal to b transpose into d into b into a into thickness so b transpose 1 by 30 so b we can represent in the column wise because b transpose like this okay this value fourth fourth equation in a column wise as well as d stress stress relationship d value is 8 into 1 power 4 3 1 0 1 3 0 0 0 1 and b value is 1 by 30 and the b transpose value is in the row okay then into area is already given and thickness also given clear then here what i'm doing over here just we are dividing this whole the value 8 into 10 power 4 into thickness into 30 into 30 here we are taking over here again we are taking this value and this value if you are multiply this row into this column then you will get this answer after that this one is remaining this minus 5 is 0 5 is 0 0 0 0 3 0 0 then how to write this matrix that is the most important here so i will tell you if you divide this value then you will get the answer is 1.33 into 10 power 3 this minus 15 into this value minus 15 into minus 5 is plus 75 minus 5 into 0 0 minus 3 into 3 become as plus 9 15 into 5 it become as 75 this is 5 into 0 0 75 plus 0 3 into 3 it become as 9 how much 75 plus 0 plus 9 it then you will get the answer is 84 clear again come to this point 0 into 15 then you will get the 0 minus 3 into minus 5 minus into minus it become as plus 5 3 is a 15 okay again 3 into minus 3 into minus 5 it become as how much plus 5 3 is a 15 this 15 plus 15 you will get 30 answer clear this is over come to this third point 5 5 into minus 15 then you will 5 into minus 15 plus 5 into 0 it become as 0 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 it become as plus 3 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 15 into 5 is a okay so i am using here 15 into 5 is 75 okay 75 plus 9 minus 75 plus 9 become as how much minus 66 clear then again come to this this column okay 0 into minus 15 it become as 0 minus 3 minus 3 into minus 3 it become as how much plus 15 okay plus 15 5 into minus 3 it become as minus 15 yeah, this is the plus 15 and this is the minus 15 minus 15 plus 15 minus 15 if it is cancelled then you will get the answer is 0 clear i can come to this point 0 into minus 15 is 0 okay 0 into minus 5 it become as 0 okay again 6 3 is a is minus 18 clear come to this last one 0 into anything 15 should be become 0 6 into 15 it should become as 30 minus it minus 3 into 0 it become as 0 only so we are right on this first one is completed the same concept we have to repeat for the second one this first column into this second row then you will get 30 this second column into this second row then you will get 52 
this column into this second row then you will get the zero this column fourth column into the second row then you will get this two answer this column uh, multiply with this row second row then you will get minus 30 and that's last column into this second row then you will get minus 54 the same concept you have to follow for third also clear this column into this third row second column into this third row fourth column into this third row okay fifth column into this third row sixth column into this third row then you will get this answer minus 66 0 84 minus 30 minus 18 30 again let us see again this is the fourth one okay fourth one is there now minus this column into this fourth row second column into this fourth row third column into this fourth row fifth column into this fourth row sixth column into this fourth row then you will get the answer is 0 2 minus 30 52 30 minus 54 okay please do the practice more and more then you will get the accuracy here the same concept you have to follow for the fifth sixth also i hope so no one is having a doubt okay if you have the doubt regarding this session please write down in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel here thank you